We have more info on Shadow Keep, including new images of exotic sandbox changes and many more details, so hang tight. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and if you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the details are forever flowing out of packs, and today I bring you a summary of what we have found out over the past few days. I will first state many of the details today come from the community who have gotten their hands on within the game at packs and have left us feedback on sources such as Reddit and so forth. You can take them with a pinch of salt if you want to, but it seems as though many of the details I will cover today are backed up via multiple people. Also the build at PAX, although believed to be the one we will get October 1st with Shadow Keep, again Bungie can change things as we know. So first, Cosmo and DMG tweeted out a selfie, within the background we see the sunshot and this we can see has received a buff. Look at that mag size people, 12 in the mag, that's literally a 50% increase over the current 8 we see in game right now. So Sunshot it seems will have 12 in a single mag which people in my opinion will make this a top tier PvE weapon especially within them solar activities. Its small mag size was literally one of the thing letting it down but that being sorted this thing I'm certain you'll see much more of in PvE now. Ok so let's move on to a few sandbox changes we have learned about over the past few days which affect PvP mostly. Ok so the hunters spam tether now one hits guardians upon direct hits, I'm pretty sure we knew this was coming. There's also loads of people referring to the 110 RPM hand cannons uh, that was available at PAX to play with and said the archetype has never felt more crisper, that is great because some of my favourite hand cannons in the game are the slowest fire rate, the 110s. I can also confirm 90 RPM sniper rifles can one shot supers to the head. This is amazing. This is for seen on screen now thanks to Bletchboy7 of on Reddit. He states the following 360 rounds per minute pulse rifles now two burst as each precision shot now does 34 to the head. Time to pull my Redrix out of my vault people. He says he feels super's health and time within super being reduced. Now we know health has been reduced seeing as the 90 RPM sniper rifles can one shot supers and I'm pretty sure Bungie did confirm that roaming supers will have a reduced time. Auto rifles felt slightly better, no distractions and snapshot could be rolled on the same sniper. Infusion weapons required a new material, this could be one of the new materials the gunsmith has available, either the enhancement prisms or ascendant shards or something new entirely. Heavy spawns in less sport he's shared amongst the team, much like in Destiny 1, so that's pretty epic. And I'm also seeing a lot of people state that it feels a lot like uh, Destiny 1, and the nostalgia is definitely there. Which isn't a bad thing, I do suppose, but in my opinion I do think Destiny 2's PvP is a whole heap better than what it was in D1, but that's just my opinion. Ok so we're going to move on from the sandbox changes. We have two images of the raid weapons, we see the ancient gospel hand cannon and the Zealot's reward fusion rifle. The white on these weapons I can confirm is animated by the way, which you cannot see within these images. We also have a better look at the exotic void rocket launcher the death boringer. I mean people just look at this damn thing, wow. Pointed out by a follower on Twitter, stating it looks like the 1k voices, I can definitely see the similarities for sure. Something about this though reminds me of a crow, it even has a crow's foot as a handle too, but I do love the design and we all know this thing is an absolute monster, I mean a lot of people referred to this as a void galahorn because we saw it within the Shadow Keep trailer that when it was shot at Omnigul it kind of like uh, split into void seeking projectiles but it actually works more like the dragon's breath, you hold the trigger to shoot and you let go of it and it will spawn these small void orbs that will track an enemy so that's pretty epic. But the design of this thing for damn sure is absolutely incredible. And we also have more details on the bug heavy machine gun, this one seen on screen now. Now we know the weapon fires a single shot explosive round, but one community member states it fires like an instant linear fusion, it has no drop off either, 150 damage to the body and 1 shots to the head, it's semi automatic and has 3 in the mag with a max of 13, he states it's extremely satisfying to use, I mean it definitely sounds unique that is for sure and I cannot wait to get my hands on it, I'm pretty sure this is a placeholder name right here, but wouldn't it be epic if Bungie just left this as its name, 
But that is it, people, besides the rants I am seeing all over the internet uh, about the raid, the Garden of Salvation raid armor being reskins of old school Eververse gear. I mean, I'm going to make a video giving you guys my opinion on this, so stay tuned for that. But I do think people are kind of blowing this out of proportion. I mean, we've had many changes come to the game and Destiny leading up to Shadowkeep, including cross save and so much more. And I'm pretty certain as well, Bungie will have things up their sleeves when it comes to this raid armor. I don't think it's going to be as basic looking as people are believing, but we will see. But guys, on that note, we have come to the end of the video. Just wanted to make a quick video, bring you guys the information we've had come out of packs over the past few days. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.